Hi, today in the Crazy Reviewer, I'm going to review SummerSlam. Woo, yeah. I'm not going to talk about all the matches on the card. Oh, no. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> just, I'm going to just talk about some of the, the big, exciting matches. Like this match. Uh, DX versus Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase. But what can I say? Suck it, brother! Not surprised at the X1. I figured that was going to happen. I mean, who knew, right? Oh, right. Not surprised, but good match. Good show. I like how they came out of the tanks. That was awesome! And, uh, well, if you didn't like that match, well, I guess you could suck it! Alright, the other tag team match, a really good I liked a lot was Big Show and Jericho versus Crime Time. It, surprisingly enough, for randomly putting together two people as tag team champions, Big Show and Jericho, I am, like, amazed that they are actually using Big Show to his advantage, you know, to his, his full potential. Ever since he joined Jericho and became the tag team champs, I have been blown away by their performance. Um, I hope they, you know, okay, I know they're bad guys and all that, whatever. I hope Chris Jericho and Big Show will hold on to the tag team belt, at least till WrestleMania, when Edge returns. Isn't that right, Edge? Are you going to come back and kick Chris Jericho's ass? Yeah, he is. I hope he makes a call to the ECW roster, if you know what I mean. Now, that's cool. The only ECW match on the SummerSlam card. In fact, ECW, I think, is only allowed one match per card. In fact, I think ECW is only allowed one match per pay-per-view card. And obviously, if you're only allowed one match, I guess you might as well have it be for the ECW Championship. And it was an exciting match, but Christian came out on top. God. Oh. Oh, Regal. And the other main title match they had, the WWE Championship, Randy Orton defending his title against... Some... Confused Marine rapper guy named John Cena. I don't know. During the match, uh, Cena, you know, gets his shit kicked out as usual. Then he comes back out of nowhere and locks the STS on Orton. Uh, uh, Orton! Uh, Orton! Uh, Orton! Uh, tap Orton! Oh, I'll make you tap, bitch! Uh, Orton was about to tap, then a crazy fan from the stand came out and distracted the ref, allowing Orton to get the RKO. But then later on, as we find out next time, Raw, that it was Brett DiBiase who was the fan. Now, we are at the main event of SummerSlam. The World Championship title match. In a TLC Tender Love and Care match. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I meant, what I meant to say was tables, layers, and chairs match. Oh, my! In one corner, we have everyone's favorite. Jeff Hardy? Okay, whatever. And in the other corner, we have Chicago Zone, C and Pong. And he won. Yeah! The yeah, best part of the match was when Jeff Hardy jumped off the ladder onto CM Punk on the table. That was good. But then the match, you know, finally came in when CM Punk knocked Jeff Hardy off the ladder to grab the title. But wait! There's more! Undertaker comes back. Yay! Let's go out, come back out, and we see the Undertaker in Jeff Hardy's spot. And the Undertaker basically choke slams CM Punk. Basically saying at the next pay per view will probably be Undertaker versus CM Punk for the world title. Overall, I would say SummerSlam definitely uh, delivered. Um, yeah. It was good. I give it. I give Summer Slamming like, yeah, 8 out of 10. So see you next time on the Crazy Reviewer Show.